The sea and air are two of the basic elements which rule our planet. They play a fundamental but complex role in climate, where any strong changes are the result of the interaction of these two elements. To address the climate change challenges of today, 2008 will see the launch of Europe's SMOS satellite. SMOS, which stands for Soil, Moisture and Ocean Salinity, is designed to map these elements with unprecedented accuracy. Three quarters of the globe is covered in water and its influence is felt everywhere. But it's not only oceans, rivers and lakes that affect the climate, but water in all its forms. Soil moisture and its evaporation play an important role in weather and climate. It's part of a well-known cycle with rain, snow or hail landing on the ground creating water or humidity, then evaporation followed by a cooling at altitude which brings further precipitation. What's unique about SMOS, uh, the water mission, is that it will give us a global picture of this uh, from one day to the next and in doing so provide a very uniform uh, data set with which to better understand uh, the water cycle. This understanding will help us in future to forecast climate change and predict extreme weather conditions. Mapping the salinity of the Earth's oceans will also help. Cyclones, for instance, are started by complicated combinations of warm, humid sea air. Understanding the salinity and temperature of the seas will help to more easily predict the zones where hurricanes intensify as they pass over the ocean. As part of ESA's Living Planet program, aimed at understanding the state of the planet, SMOS will complement the Earth Explorer series of satellites, which are all designed to address and understand critical changes on Earth. Thanks to space, we can already measure many changes in the ocean, including temperature and the size and depth of sea ice. But until now, the saline content of water has remained an unknown quantity. Salinity in the ocean has a big impact on ocean circulation, which plays a key role in driving the global climate. Waters with the greatest saline density have a tendency to sink and create a circulatory movement in the Atlantic Ocean from south to north. The melting of the ice caps lowers salinity levels, which in turn generates a circulation pattern that's called the Gulf Stream, a phenomenon that helps to create the temperate zones in our latitude. Circulating at a low orbit of around 750 kilometers from the Earth, SMOS for the first time will be able to give us a global picture of the ocean's salinity using unique instruments that are sensitive to the variations of a particular wavelength. This will not only improve our understanding of how climate change is impacting on ocean circulation, but also its impact on the snow mantle over regions of snow and ice. When the SMOS satellite is sent into space later this year on the Russian launcher Rokot, it will reconfirm Europe's commitment and response to global climate change challenges. With the results it sends back to us on Earth, SMOS in a very real way will be contributing to the European Global Monitoring for Environment and Security Initiative, an initiative that in the end affects us all.